I built this solar panel by using transistors only. Stay tuned to see the results. I purchased 50 plus transistors so I can build a solar panel using transistors only. If you remove the metal cover from the transistor, the high grade silicone will be exposed to sunlight and begin to generate electricity. There is a difference of one in the same transistor because of the way they're made. Some can handle more current than others, and the silicone on the inside can be bigger or smaller, resulting in more or less electricity generated. I 3D printed some parts which will be used as sun focusers. On a Cricut machine, I cut some flexible mirror reflectors which are used to build the sunlight focusers. First, I built one transistor with one focuser and measured the energy production. The solar focuser will concentrate the sunlight directly onto the silicone and increase the energy production by 20%. Next, I soldered the positive and negative connections. I am using a micrometer so one can see the needle move, but I measured with a digital amp meter and depending on the intensity of the sunlight and the kind of transistor used, it's generating between 10 milliamps and 50 milliamps of current. It looks like it generates 0.5 volts DC for a single transistor. I laser cut a big sheet of plexiglass where all of the transistors will be mounted. I had to remove the covers on 45 transistors, which took a while. All of the transistors are ready to be assembled. I gave the plexiglass base a coat of spray paint. It took several hours to solder all of the connections. I connected 9 transistors in series to increase the voltage from 0.5 volts DC to almost 5 volts DC. To increase the current, I connected 5 rows of 9 transistors each in parallel. All of the sunlight focusers were installed using a hot glue gun. The solar panel is ready for testing. Today is a perfect day for testing. There's no clouds in the sky and the sun is very intense. In order to get the maximum power generation, the panel has to be perfectly lined up with the sun so the reflectors can focus the sunlight directly onto the transistors. First, I am connecting it to a speaker to attempt to power it. A very small DC motor can run with this solar panel, but not at full speed. It 
It can power a small array of LEDs, although it's hard to see it very bright outside. I attempted to power a DC motor that requires higher current and the DC motor was barely rotating. I attempted charging a 3.7 volt lithium battery. The battery is able to gain charge slowly. Now that the lithium battery has gained some charge, I am able to power loads that require more current. This is a 36 volt DC motor and I'm only using a 3.7 volt DC battery to power it. Obviously, it's not running at full speed. Also, with the charged 3.7 volt battery, you can use a circuit like this to charge a phone. After all this work and testing, the smaller solar panel here can generate more electricity than the bigger one. If you enjoyed, please subscribe and I'll see you next time.